In today's video, we are going to talk about the general solution of a differential equation. Ano nga ba yung general solution of a differential equation? First, kailangan malaman muna natin ano yung goal natin. Ang goal natin is to find an equation with no derivatives. And this equation will express the relationship of the dependent and the independent variable. So what is a general solution of a DE? It is an equation involving an arbitrary constant, let us say C. Ibig sabihin, we are going to use integration once or more than once sa isang given na differential equation in order for us to arrive sa isang general solution. So in general, ito yung general form ng ating general solution. This is our independent variable, our dependent. These are our arbitrary constants. So, let's go ahead at tignan natin ang iba't ibang examples. We have our example number 1. We have y prime is equal to x squared minus 3. Now, in order for us to perform uh, proper integration, we can uh, do the other form of y prime, which, which is dy over dx. And then, this dx, ililipat natin sa kabila, so that we can perform integration. So, doing some algebra, this will become our differential equation. And we're going to perform integration here. So, integrate natin yan. And, the result is this one. So, x squared dx is x cubed over 3. And, 3dx is 3x. And, always remember, do not forget your plus c. And, the dy here, after integrating, ay magiging y. So, kung mapapansin natin, this equation ay wala na siyang derivative. It is free sa derivative. Meron na rin tayong arbitrary constant. So, therefore, this is our general solution. Now, we have our example number 2 here. Quantity x is squared plus x. Quantity dy is equal to 3tx. Always remember, Sa left side natin, dy lang ang may iwan. And doing some algebra, ito yung nasa right side natin. And with this particular example, we are going to perform partial fraction. Why? For us to have an easier integration. Ibig sabihin para maging elementary lang yung way ng ating pag-integrate. So, I hope you have reviewed your partial fractions or maybe your integration by partial fraction. So, ano ba ang gagawin natin? Gagawin natin, this 1 over x squared plus x, ilagay natin siya dito, and we will factor out this denominator and resolve to a partial fraction. So, itong x and then x plus 1 dito, yan yung ating mga factors. Now, the goal is to find the value of a and the value of b in order for us to have an equivalent of this one right here. So, now, para maalis ito, makancel yan, multiply natin both sides ng sarili niya or that the same factor and after that we will arrive into this equation now in order for us to find this a and then this b we will perform some algebra so here we will get x 
and equate it to 0. Here it is. At pag in na natin yan sa 0, ibabalik natin siya dyan. So, we will have B times 0. And here, A quantity X natin is 0. So, G, this is 0 plus 1. So, ang may iwan dyan is 1 is equal to A times 1. Kaya, yun yung A natin dito. Next. Gawin naman natin, we will get this x plus 1. So, here. And equate that to 0. Pag in-equate natin siya sa 0, we will have x is equal to negative 1. And again, substituting this value of x here sa equation na ito, we will arrive at b is equal to negative 1. And now, itong value natin ng A and value ng B ang isa-substitute natin papunta dito sa itaas. And now, after that, itong value na ito ay magiging the same with this one. So, pwede na natin yan ipalit at ilagay dito. So, instead na ito ang integrate natin, ang integrate na natin ay ang form na ito. And that would be easier for us. So, after substituting the new uh, value or factor here, we will proceed to integration. Okay, so 1 over x dx. And we have here 1 over x plus 1 dx. So, pag dinistribute natin yan and perform our integration. We will have this equation here. 3 ln of x minus 3 ln of x plus 1. So, let us recall. What is the integral of 1 over u du? So, this is 1 over x dx. And then, applying this one here, magkakaroon tayo ng ln of u plus c. So, yun yung ln of x dito. Yung, ln, yung u natin dyan, yung u dyan is yung x. So, this will become x. So, ganun din sa kabila. And now, after that, we will arrive sa equation na ito. And as you can see, wala na tayong derivative. Free of derivative na tayo. Meron na tayong arbitrary constant. So, this is our general solution. But let us simplify this general solution and apply the properties of ln. Subukan natin. This general solution here, so, pag nag-apply tayo ng properties ng ln, it will become like this one. So, itong ln x minus ln x plus 1 here, because of this, tatandaan lagi itong minus sign dito, we will have a quotient here. So, remember your properties of ln. So, that would be the new form of this given general or this solve general solution and this coefficient 3 here will become now an exponent of this function so ngayon ang mangyari we will have this one now this is another form of our general solution and this one here is also the same as this one. So, same lang sila. And now, by performing exponential functions, we can remove this ln here. So, paano natin gagawin yun? So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin, this value here, itong na-solve natin dito, papasok natin siya dyan, pero magpapasok na tayo na exponential function. So, we will have here e to the y. 
So what we will have here is e to the y is equal to e to the ln of x over x plus 1 quantity raised to 3 plus c. And now applying uh, some more functions or exponential functions, itong plus c dito, pupuntayan sa baba and we will have this one. So e to the ln of quantity x over x plus 1 raised to 3 times e to the c. Remember that e raised to 0 is equal to 1. But e raised to another number, let's say c, is equal to another number, let's say c sub 1. Kaya yun yung nangyari dito. And also, remember that e to the ln of x is just equal to x. That is the reason why this is our new general solution here. So this form is actually the same as this one. Inalis lang natin yung ln. So I hope uh, you have reviewed your ln functions and exponential functions this far. Some problems uh, might require us to integrate more than once. At yun yung mga kagaya nito. We have here a second ordered differential equation. So meaning, para maalis lahat ng derivative natin, kailangan natin i-perform ang dalawang beses na integration. Kasi nga nasa second order siya. And before we proceed, let us recall this one. This is derivative of y or second derivative of y with respect to x can be written also in this manner. The derivative of, what's this? This is our y prime. So, this one. So, yan, form na yan ay pare-pareho lang ang ibig sabihin. So, now, let's go back. Here is our problem or our differential equation. And we will transform that into this form. And now, lipat natin ulit yung dx. So, this is the resulting equation that we have. And we can now perform our first integration. So, pag in-integrate na natin ito, okay, in-integrate na natin yan, we will have here y prime, may e1, and our 6dx will become 6x. So, again, don't forget your plus C. Question, is this our general solution? The answer is no. Why? Because we still have here a derivative. So, now, we will perform our second integration. After performing our second integration, yung y prime natin doon magiging y na lang. And this 6x plus c quantity dx natin will become 3x squared plus cx plus c sub 2, which is written down here. Now, wala na tayong derivative, free of derivative na tayo. Second ordered tayo kanina, so dalawang arbitrary constant din ang titina natin or hahanapin. Na-meet na natin yung requirement. So now, we have the general solution. So that is the general solution of a differential equation. I hope you learned something today. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you on our next video. Bye-bye!